uh, small, always uh, dreamed about going to Africa. It's just dope that the the music brought me there finally. I had also been dreaming of going to Africa for a long time since I was small. And then I was like, oh, I'm from here. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to be doing a lot of old material um, and going to a place that definitely, you know, you have a lot of fans or like we've either never seen you live or seen you 10 years ago, you know, making the decision of what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? <laughs> Setless uh, for South Africa was, was basically, we spent a lot of time rehearsing and uh, that, that pretty much influenced what songs I picked. I wanted to stay high energy and with the war theme, so I went with a lot of the rock stuff. It was dope how we shared the same band. Mm -hmm. But we called them different names. And we called them different names. <laughs> they were uh, rene Renegades for your set, and they were uh, Let Us Pray for my set. I have no dead body to claim. Never been a trigger man. Crack never peddled that opposite of Jigger Man. Double my expectancy. Can you believe it? Look, no bullet wounds, not parapolis. Mila Machinko, she's a important cog to my show because um it's not just rock you know sometimes it's real uh, sentimental and then sometimes it's uh shouting and yelling and i know that's demanding of a vocalist but she pulls it off every time what i didn't expect from Cape Town was the amount of energy that the crowd gave back to you as a performer. Really smart, <laughs> laughed at good jokes, and, and um, I, you know, when we go into things like you and me and everyone we know, and it's the two step or it's everybody put your hands up, and, and you realize that, you know, they are listening and they want to participate. <laughs> underground artists pretty much we're doing uh, different places in Europe and the audiences are mixed but that was emotional for me to see uh, see if black faces one thing Cape Town crowd um, would have been nice if someone had said hey look out <laughs> blew the advertisement down. I was taking some pictures in the audience when it happened and I stopped and said, like, damn it, just missed her. So before the show, we, uh, I did this workshop. I think it was awesome for people to be able to, you know, not have to go on either Twitter or Facebook, and if they couldn't do that, be able to ask actual questions. I thought they asked amazing questions, and uh, were really knowledgeable about everyone's stuff. After the show, there was this uh, little girl, hi Layla, who was awesome, and brought up her journal and said, I love Hell Pit Fairies, which is myself and, and Mila's group. I was like, how? And I looked at her mom, and she was like, yeah, you know, her favorite song is Haters Anthem. And I was like, what the fuck, you hook? That's, that's awesome. And also terrible at the same time, Layla, no. Hallie Selassie, um, we figured, was perfect to shoot while we were over there, so. We shot most of the video, and uh, Mitch was playing, and um, it was dope, man. It was the kids that we shot with, they were dope, great dancers. The townspeople came out to see what we were doing. They were looking at me like, 
Doesn't look like a rapper to me. <laughs> assassins. Assassins are uh, always dope to perform. It's rapidly rap. an array of emotions you know the people the energy the jazz festival was just incredible and um, my thoughts is to get back there ASAP <laughs> <laughs>